Welcome back to the channel to you and to you. Uh, today we're doing uh, rosé for Valentine's <laughs> Day, uh, suggested by yours truly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're sampling three French rosés this week, uh, priced from $7.50 all the way up to $21. Can we tell the difference? Let's find out. So rosé is old. Uh, the Phoenicians were drinking this stuff back in 1500 BC. Uh, recent estimates put worldwide consumption just around $3.3 billion, and they're saying that could grow to well over $5 billion by 2033. Um, rosé can be made from any red grape, uh, but certain varietals lend themselves more readily to this category, uh, like Grenache, Morvedra, and Pinot Noir. Uh, and the trick with rosé is that the skins are only allowed to touch the wine for a short period of time before being removed from the process. Um, and that's what gives this wine its classic pink hue. So today we have three French rosés. Uh, there's a $7.50 bottle, a $15 bottle, and a $21 bottle. Uh, but for fun, I'm going to have my very special guest try and guess which is which, and ultimately, which one we think is best for the price. Let's get to it. Okay. First up, we have this 2022 Chateau View rosé from the Loire Valley. Okay. You're very familiar with the Loire Valley, yes, right? Yes, I am. We've tried. We haven't been there. We haven't been there, but we've tried wines. And we want to go there. From the Loire Valley. Well, we want to go everywhere. In they France. Make yeah. good good wine. Yeah. Uh, so this is 11% alcohol by volume, uh, and this is a Cabernet Franc uh, dominant blend. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ladies first. <laughs> I got a kitty. I don't have a kitty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't get a kitty. But... I have a kitty marker on my, on my wine glass. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, that, it's you pink. know, it's standard very pink. pink tinge of orange. It's a nice pink color. Hue. Yeah. But sometimes they're a little bit more straw. This is good. Not much in the uh, aromatic area. Well, rose, these are, they tend to be a little bit lighter, of course. Yeah. Okay, ready? Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. That's that is nice. nice. Starts out a little sweet. That's really good. Yep. I could see pounding this whole thing down and get trash. <laughs> yes, uh, easily drinkable. <laughs> In other words, um, <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> Easy to drink. See, for me, it's almost too like it's right at that line where if there was a little bit more sugar, I would be put off. Oh yeah. Yeah. I it's, mean, it walks the line. It, you can still get a pretty good headache off of this, mm -hmm. I think, if you drink enough of it. <laughs> yeah. That's very, a very, that's a very good. Very light, though. Like, very this is beautiful for, unobtrusive. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually it's really nice. nice. <laughs> to be honest, I've never seen that either, and I like that. Just so, you, I mean, yeah. like, on the. Yeah, Hold it up. on the label they actually have a dry sweet. to sweet, you know, Thermometer. little measurement thingy. I've seen it um, not on not on rosés, but I haven't bought a lot of rosés. I've seen it on. I've seen similar markings on riesling. It's good to have it on a rosé because for people who have a preconceived notion that rosés are sweet, it helps understand, you know, point out the fact that they aren't all sweet. Actually, yeah. I don't think I've had very many sweet rosés, so. But this one's pretty sweet. It's not sweet. Okay. For someone who likes sweet wine, this is not sweet. All right. So do you have a guess? Do you think that's the the, the cheap, the medium? or the... I wouldn't say that that was cheap. I'd say that that was in the middle. Okay. That could be the expensive one, but you know, okay. I don't know. Um, you act like I'm gonna know the. No, 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 price no. I'm just but wondering if like, I say mid middle. Middle. Okay. Middle. All right. But um, that may change as we go. I gotta chug this now. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as a wine fool level, very uh, entry level, I would say this is like a wine fool level one, like. If you knew somebody who was kind of just getting into wine, this is something that they could really enjoy. As far as rosés go, though, I would say that this is a, you know, this is an excellent rosé. Um, 
for people who like a sweeter wine but not super sweet and it's not very dry but it's right. on the dry side yeah so yes it definitely is a good entry level wine, wine. but i think it's a very good rosé cuz sometimes rosés can be they can be a little hard to drink sometimes because of the how full they are so this is a it's a very good gotcha very good wine okay Uh, next up, we have a 2022 Bandol Terrasses de Fontenou Rosé uh, from the Provence region of France. It's a pretty um, label. This one is 13% alcohol by volume and is a Morvedra dominant blend. What does that mean? Morvedra is a varietal, grape varietal. Okay. Um, commonly used in... This one looks a little bit lighter several. in color. Yep. Definitely. Ooh. Party foul. You better oh, be licking that off the gosh. table. Sheesh. Like not, not doing well here. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely yeah. paler, much, much paler. paler. This only got a. Is it the grape though? A kiss of the skin. It could be. Um, it's but a I think it's. Grape, it's it not. is a different grape, but they're all red wine grapes, so it's really. But it's a different. But it would still be the the amount of time that they were left in contact with the... This one is definitely going to be drier. Hmm. I mean, I think it's going to be drier. Let's see. Yeah. Fuller in body, maybe. Boasting a pale pink color, this wine offers a fruity bouquet with fine aromas of mango and red berries. I am not getting a sweet. Fruity. Yeah, I don't, I'm not... I'm getting the red berries. Very mild, like strawberry... The mouth feel is Maybe. ready. The mouth feel. I know you. That's your one of your favorite times. Is ample, harmonious, and well rounded. All right, let's Cheers. have some harmonious wine. Harmonious. Not sweet. No. Finishes on the sweeter side, but oh, not wow. sweet. It's actually really good. That's really interesting. It's um, almost plasticky again. It has <clears> like that, especially compared to that. Yeah. I like this one better. This one's good, though. Yeah. So this it's funny good. because this one's higher uh, alcohol content. Mm -hmm. So you can almost like... I could smell it when The we were... sense of like body, like the fuller body, like it's got a sense of If you body. have a couple, have a couple sips, that changes the flavor. It's actually very good. Another very good rosé. Yeah. It gets more complex as you take a couple of sips. Yeah. This is definitely I like, like this a lot. I would put this at a wine food level two mm -hmm. because of that complexity. It is uh, this could this could scare off a beginner drinker, essentially. Like this is a little it's different. Yeah. It, it's it's interesting. There's it's definitely not one some note. It's no, it's not one note. There's a little bit of complexity to this one. This one's a little bit more one note ish. Yeah. This one's a little bit more tasty. Complex easy to drink this one's a little bit harder this drink, one i good. can't see getting through i could see drinking a couple glasses of this and being like this would okay, be great with food good yes yeah this would be good with like a um like a fatty fish dish or something something along those lines okay yeah tasty um, so what do you think so now that we've had that one and that one what what are your thoughts on this one price price point yeah sure and and I guess do you you like this one more than you like that one? Mm -mm. No, you like that one better because it's easier to drink. <laughs> no, it depends on what you're doing with it, right? If yeah. You're, if you're eating a meal, yeah. or having something sweet, or having yeah. you know, yeah, you, this is something you're not going to be picking up to drink. This would be good with dinner. By that itself. would be good after dinner. This would be good by itself. Like <laughs> yeah, if you're just drinking sure. at a party and yeah. like walking around talking yeah. and, and this one, yeah. you know, there's a little bit more conversation about it. So yeah. it's, you want okay. something to kind of clean your palate in between and yeah, yeah, this is good though. That's fair. Yeah. No, this one's, I actually, I prefer this one. Shockingly, I like something that's a little bit drier. Um, Again. You're not a sweet wine drinker. I'm not so. a sweet wine drinker. So my preference is for this one, but... Um, I'd say that this is... I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's the most expensive one. You don't? No. Okay. All right. Uh, 
All right, lastly, we have a 2020 Minervoi Les Trois Blaisons. <laughs> so, wait, are you going to be ready to speak French by the time we go, or what? Oui, oui. Um, by the time we go, when are we going? <laughs> I don't know at this um, point. And this is from Pay Doc. Uh, in the Languedoc region of France, uh, what? this is uh, this is twelve and a half percent alcohol by volume. Uh, I'm just I'm just moving on. I'm just plowing right through your questions. How dare you question me? Um, and this is a Syrah dominant oh, blend, interesting. Uh, okay. which I thought was interesting. It's kind of mind blowing when you're realizing that this is all red wine. But yeah, yep, yeah. Um, and this is this isn't this they've all been this is completely very different pale. colors. This is almost, this is almost orange. Like it's a little bit. Straw. Uh, it's almost straw. Yeah, but it's got that pinkish hue to it. I'd say that um, this is the cheapest cheapest one. Because it's pale? Mm -hmm. No? Something else mm -hmm. I'm telling you? Oh. <laughs> yep. That's got a funk to it. So So that's why when I smelled it, I said it I thought it was the cheapest. The one. other thing about this. This is a 2020. It's a couple years old. So and it was funny because on the shelf, all the others were 2021s. So this one kind of jumped out at me and I'm like, I'm gonna get it just to see. We might have made a mistake. Because <laughs> <laughs> this Cheers. We didn't do that. We did. Not with the last one. Okay, ready? There is, well, I, there's something that it's, it's triggering me. Like, there's a smell in there that... It's not bad. Don't be afraid. <laughs> this is very... Actually, it's really one note. There's nothing to it. This one was the most complex. This one's the least complex. This one is the easiest to drink. Yeah. You don't need to have this with anything. This one's basically nothing. There's nothing to this, I don't feel. It's not bad. It, there's actually a, a hint more of tannin. Like, I'm getting... I'm just getting the hint of dr or drying on my tongue, like, that I wasn't getting with the others, I didn't think. Okay, I'll give you that. There's nothing to it. That's really one note for me. Yeah. It's... Yeah. It's, uh... It almost... It's flavored water. So... <laughs> I'd say that this one would probably is the highest price point than this one. Okay. I'd say that this one is the middle price point and this one's a low price point. You nailed it. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be able to do that. Good job. So, um, I will, we'll say that that last one is really like a wine fool level. I don't know. That's like a zero. To, or, <laughs> or, I mean, it's it, it's so nothing. There's so nothing to it's it. It's so blah. That it, yeah, this won't offend. It shouldn't offend anybody. But, except for that, there's like a <laughs> funk on the nose. There's definitely something on the nose that would throw people off. So, I'm not going <laughs> to even give it a wine fool rating. Um, just because I don't think it's at $7.50. Really? It'll get you drunk. <laughs> um, you don't have to worry about it. It'll get you, <laughs> you might not be happy the next day. Um, but I think that kind of goes to show that there's, you know, we saw, like, I mean, I picked these out. Obviously, these are all French. Um, I could have picked others. You kind of complained that I didn't pick ones from around the world. I complained that he didn't get my input because I am the one in the house who actually... Who recommended who re doing this? Who, yep. No, who what? who doesn't mind drinking rosés. Yes, true. I yes. have a little bit more experience drinking rosés yes. than you do, different rosés. Yeah. There are some other French rosés that I prefer mm -hmm. to these. Yeah. Um, so if I had gone with you, I, almost, problem, I might have chosen one or two of those. Yeah, and I almost picked up because I know the one that you've gotten before i don't know if you liked it i know that you've gotten it before and i was like oh i don't want to get that i mean there's some really pretty bottles when it yeah, comes to rosé exactly as far as like <laughs> as far as like the cool wine bottles go i right. think rosé has like you know people they do a little bit more with the rosé sometimes like there's the one yeah. that actually looks like a rose that one that that has i almost picked so that one pretty and i bought that just because of the bottle and that's a french rosé and it's not too yeah. bad it's not yeah. you know yeah yeah but i think i think this is still interesting in the fact that uh, not a single could, one of them has been sweet, 
sweet. No, it's you could like, argue that that one is but it's sweet. Not, it's it's mid. It's, it's mid, mid dry. It's, it's mid not dry. Sweet. Yeah. Um, but what I was gonna say is that I think it's interesting that we you could you can tell the difference. You can 100%. definitely tell the difference between. Seven fifty, fifteen dollars, and a twenty-one dollar bottle. And and mind you, you can just like anything, just like any wine. It's all you, on who's you drinking can it. spend. Well, it's all on who's drinking it, and you can spend much more. Um, there were definitely wines on the shelf that were, you know, pushing thirty-five, forty dollars, and I was like, no, <laughs> I don't want to spend that much for a well, wine I might might not drink. Well, I don't drink much anymore anyway. So and those two, I would definitely. I could, These two? Yeah, I could yeah. see myself drinking. This one feels like a waste of time, um, which is sad to say about any wine, but also <laughs> at seven fifty, you're kind of like, well... It's not going to hurt anything mm, by it. People are going to drink it because it's easy to drink. Exactly. You could put this out at a party and... It'll probably it'll go. It'll probably go. Yeah, it'll probably go. Especially after... But you're not going to sit and have a conversation about it. This is what you put out after all the good stuff's gone. Because <laughs> <laughs> nobody will notice the difference. So that's it for this week. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day, no matter what you're drinking. Um, and until next time, mm -hmm. stay foolish and cheers. Cheers. To drinking better wine. Any wine.